we woke up super early today to do what? <laughs> to try and find the wild horses again. <laughs> when you come here, there's two ways to see the horses. The first is have a true 4x4 vehicle and drive 10 miles on the beach. We tried that yesterday and failed miserably. Epic, epic failure. Yeah, I think we... Oh yeah, it's, it's struggling big time. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Okay, get out of here. So, well, the main reason why we're here is that you can see wild horses in the Outer Banks. Corolla wild horses to be exact. And we just thought it'd be like a parking lot and we just, you know, can walk around on pavement and grass to find them, but no, uh, apparently if you have a proper vehicle, you can drive on the beach here, but we're here with a Toyota RAV4 and we don't want to risk being stranded. So we're gonna do what everyone else does and do a proper tour. Uh, yeah, yeah. We just wanna see the horses. Oh my God, we made it. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Oh. oh my God, we made it. So I think we could have risked it, but I mean, just driving on a little bit of sand, it felt really rickety. So we're not going to, uh, we're not gonna risk it here. I mean, we're on mud sand mode, but Oh my God, I don't wanna get stranded and in the heat. The second way is to do a proper tour. So I think there are a lot of operators that we noticed yesterday, yes. but we are at- The Corolla Outback Adventures. Mm -hmm. uh, we also are super lucky because we did not plan this trip ahead and there was only one spot available, 8 a.m. So we woke up at six today to make it out here to hopefully see the horses. So if you're gonna see the horses, plan, plan ahead because these things book up early. The Corolla wild horses are originally Spanish horses that were shipwrecked in the 1500s. So they have the, the Spanish horse stock bloodlines. And what's really important is when you come to Corolla, you'll see signs that you cannot touch, do not feed the horses because you want to avoid habituation where the horses become overly familiar with humans and start foraging humans, picnic baskets, beach totes, uh, cars even for food instead of foraging for the wild food that they can get um, on their own. So even though we want to see the horses, we want to touch them, we can't. Bernadette, um, about five weeks old now. Oh, Bernadette! And obviously her mom. Her mom is one of those bay horses, the brown horse, black tail, black mane. Bernadette, we think, is going to be a chestnut. Oh. There was a bird, There's on, a bird on her! Yeah, so the little birds are helping out with the flies, too. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> so all 
little horses kind of on the right there, are they sticking their noses to drink the fresh water? Well, they're eating, but and they can drink at the same time. There's actually work all along the right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Y'all just chilling. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, she's oh, waiting. Oh my gosh. That's why she was standing there. Oh, this may just be a young stallion up by himself. We'll cruise on up here and see if there's somebody behind him. Oh. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. He's in the middle of the road, though. So we've got to see the sort of nip marks on his chin. On oh, his... yeah, yeah. Been arguing with somebody. <laughs> Okay, how was it? Oh my gosh. Um, good thing we did the tour because if we had driven out there on our own, we would A, have never made it onto the sand and never seen the horses. I agree, I agree. If you're gonna see the horses, that is the only way to do it because we learned that the beach is essentially a highway and there's a lot of rules. And we saw not only cars getting stuck, but if you break the rules, you're gonna get a ticket. Yes. And then a lot of the places in the sand dunes where the horses are chilling and eating and resting, it's in private property. So the outfitters here, they have an agreement together mm -hmm. with the, the locals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have access and it's cool. You can see sand dunes, you can see waters, you can see birds. We saw turtles, you saw like wild vegetation. I mean, it was an incredible experience. Wild grapes, persimmons. Mm -hmm. You saw fruits and everything. And then we saw so many horses, different colors, and we saw two foals as well. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Man, looking up big time. If you had to compare between this and Estic. It's a completely different experience. Yeah. I feel like the horses here are a little bit more wild. Mm -hmm. Acetique, I think, is easier to see. Uh, you don't need like a proper 4x4 vehicle. Um, here you definitely do so or, it feels or, or, a little or, or like an adventure yeah, yeah it feels like an adventure but oh my god it was so amazing i'm so glad you're able to see horses yeah. she did the horse call before we drove in they all came out to say hi uh it was awesome i think one of the best things to do here and these guys are awesome there's so many other operators but these guys were really nice they were, and it really felt like they're giving us a lot of attention and care and a lot of backstory history. Yeah, learned so much there. history too. And then as we came in, just did a quick little loop on the historic village here. Uh, saw some cool old buildings as well. All right, so let's keep on moving on. Nice.